Today is uh, Tony and Lauren's wedding day, and we're here to celebrate. I'm going to be the ring bear. My sister's going to be the uh, flower girl. How did you guys get that job? Lauren. Lauren, she's a wonderful girl. He, he could not find any better. My favorite thing about Antonio is that he makes me laugh. I'm kind of a pretty serious person and I don't relax very easily. And um, from the day I met him till you know last night when we were getting ready to go to bed, he uh, always has a joke and a smile to, to, you know, a joke to make me laugh and smile. Um, she's just caring. She's like super caring. She'll, she will care about anybody, you know. She, can, she has this ability to bring everybody in and, and be this loving person and kind of not exactly the same way. He's a very friendly, popular guy. Everybody loves, like him. He's got a nice personality, yeah. Not because I'm the mom, but he does. I'm really glad he stuck around because <laughs> I think, you know, whether it worked out or not, one of us would have taken him into the family. <laughs> oh, I love him. He was, when I met him the first time, he called me Nonna in Italian way. What do you think you guys have most in common? Um, not a lot. I think we have a lot in common. Our, our um, you know, beliefs and ideas about family. I'm Antonio's sister and I've known Lauren since um, he brought her home for, it was right before Easter and she brought Easter plants which I thought was very sweet and very Italian. <laughs> and um, yeah, ever since then she's just been part of the family and I love her like a sister. I think Lauren um, kind of studies him a little bit, you know, because he's got the youngest child syndrome, like laid back. Um, and, you know, Lauren keeps him on track. I think they're a good, a good pairing, a good yin and yang. Well, like a good Italian salad. Oil and vinegar doesn't mix but, mix, but, you know, you put them together and they taste good. <laughs> it's funny because Antonio kind of, um, you know, went after me for a while and I was kind of oblivious to the fact that, that he was sort of interested. Lauren, oh my God, uh, actually, we, uh, we partnered together with uh, our cafe. That's how I met her and uh, she set us up and uh, we started selling coffee and uh, then her and Antonio started dating and uh, the rest is history. Stood meet her at her coffee shop and I didn't even like coffee back then so I would just order water and that was probably pretty weird to her <laughs> that I used to come in for probably a month straight and just order water <laughs> and talk to her and that was probably that was probably you know just from a nostalgic sense I, I love that. I enjoy the simple things with him you know the morning cup of coffee or you know, getting him to go on a walk with me when he really doesn't want to, or watching movies, playing video games. Just, just the everyday things are, are some of my favorites with him. We're hanging out for a long time. Next thing you know, we're dating. And I mean, I think probably I've known it's been coming for at least four or five years. I would say pretty quickly I knew that I was very interested in him. And that's only grown over the last seven and a half years. I heard they got engaged the day of. I saw the picture and then Lauren called me. And I was so excited. Um, not surprised. They were dating for a long time. This has been something that I know our whole entire family has been waiting for for a very long time. I'm glad you guys decided to do it after a decade. My wife and I, we dated for 11 years, so we, I know where he's coming from. We're all excited about today. It's been a long time coming. Love you guys. I'm glad you guys are finally getting married. They know each other pretty well, seven and a half years together. And he he didn't hide his temper. They're, they're pretty much all set. Nothing should pop. We're at Bruno's house, which is really nice, by the way. This is where Antonio and I grew up. We've run around this neighborhood a little bit. We're all getting ready. We're all dressing up, hanging out before the church. Trying to stay calm. I've seen Antonio much more stressed over the past couple of months than I think I than, than maybe right. I ever have. Yeah. Well, look at you! <laughs> why are you all shocked? Okay. Clean up pretty nice. I really know why, actually. <laughs> I can tell you this, I don't know if I want to get dressed now. He looks too damn good. Has he changed since you met him in, in the ki kindergarten or? No. Same I don't guy? think so. He's he's he looks uh he's a little rounder and has less hair. These pants I might have to tighten up a bit in a second. Tighten up on the side. 
Yeah. The life of a fat man. <laughs> the life of a fat short man. How long do you think it'll take Antonio to get ready? Five minutes. Five minutes. <laughs> How long has it taken you to get ready? I think we're on ten minutes. Ten minutes? And most of that was, you know, I haven't been moving at a real fast pace. We're simple creatures. Do you think she's even dressed now? She's got to be. No, no, she's there's no way. She's got nothing put on right now. There are probably like 10 people working on her stuff. She might have a lot going on around her. She might be a little more distracted. They were there at 7 in the morning. He like couldn't believe that we had to leave the house at 6.30. He's like, what are you going to do all day? <laughs> and that's quite the production. It's like, are you going to have time for a nap? <laughs> Church on time. <laughs> I'm Lauren's cousin, and we're here at Paparazzi Salon on Lauren's wedding day. This this is is Ava. She's the flower girl. She's the flower girl. She doesn't yeah, like her hair right now. <laughs> I wish it was straight. Ava, you know what you'll learn in real life? You can wish all you want, you can just change only certain things. Do you not like your hair? Listen, Dear Lauren and, and, and Zio are going to see this. They're going to see you pouty. <laughs> None pictures. The, she told us before she was going to be in the wedding that she wasn't going to smile in any pictures. So, yeah. Again, they won't be surprised by any of this. <laughs> uh, they still picked her, so. Let's get glam. They gave my brother last night a bag with instructions to give Antonio um, a letter and a present that I have for him um, before he gets ready. So I have it waiting near my tux. Lauren, give me some stuff. She gave me some stuff. Oh, she yeah, gave that to you? She said okay, you can cool. read it by yourself. It just tells him, you know, that I, I've never been more confident in any decision in my life, and uh, I can't wait to see him at the end of the altar. Some fancy cufflinks. I need to. <laughs> I need to readjust my. Uh, Did you cry? I need to adjust my wardrobe game. Did you send her a gift? Yeah, of course. What'd you send? Her? Not that stupid. I got her some earrings. She can't wear them today, but because I'm sure she's got everything picked out. But I got her a couple of sets of earrings. We had to write a love letter to each other. Our pastor asked us to do that. So we knew that we were going to print those out and give those to each other. But So I'm going to open this one first. Let's take this chance and make this love feel relevant. Didn't you know I loved you from the start? Yeah. I'm ready. I'm like anxious actually to put it on. Like I kind of wanted it on like half hour ago. My necklace was given to me by my parents when I graduated from high school. Um, my earrings are my Nona's mother's, so my great-grandmother's, and the bracelet um, I bought new. I 
How do you think she's feeling right now? I would say nervous. Maybe anxious is the word, but mm -hmm. glad. She's probably a little bit more of a wreck, although she'll probably cover up better. She'll probably look more nervous than I do, but I'll probably be more nervous than her. How do you think Antonio's feeling right now? Uh, he's probably uh, feeling a little nervous. I think he's pretty uh, cool and relaxed. He seems to be feeling good. You know, maybe a little bit nervous. He has said a few times that he wants to run to Mexico. Are we ready to do this? Let's do this. Ready as I'll ever be. I feel pretty good. All right, now we are ready. Now I'm starting to get a little bit. You know what? Need a little shot or something. So. <laughs> like his uh, second mobs, I think. Um, so it's interesting to see him all grown up and getting married. You're nervous, but I can't wait to start our life together. I'm not the kind of person that likes a lot of eyes on me, and this day is all about eyes on me, so I'm a little nervous to kind of walk down the aisle. But hopefully when those doors open, I can just look at Antonio and make it down the aisle. If you could say anything to Lauren for today, what would you say to her? What would you tell her? Uh, there's so many things it's hard to put in the world. What would you say to Antonio today? If you, I say, Antonio, good luck and... Oh gosh, I'm gonna give you a big, big hug. You guys are always teaching me stuff and I can't wait to see what you guys are like married. This is the culmination of everything that they've built together. Very excited, very happy. Um, they deserve to have this special day. remembering that sometimes there are people that are so close to us that are no longer with us. And so we begin this ceremony by lighting this memorial candle in honor of Maria and Vincenzo, Lauren's mom and Antonio's dad. to give yourselves to each other in the bond of marriage. Yes. 
Will you love and honor each other as husband and wife for the rest of your lives? Yes. Will you accept children lovingly from God and bring them up according to the law of love and Christ? Yes. Those are three good answers. We're doing good so far. Excellent. <laughs> Since it is your intention to enter into marriage, you have already joined your hands. I ask you now to declare your consent before God, the church, and all this community. I, Antonio, take you, Lauren, to be my wife. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Lauren, take you, Antonio, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you. I promise to be true to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you, I will love you and, honor you and honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. You have declared your consent before the church. May the Lord in his goodness seal and strengthen your consent with his blessings. Lauren, take this ring. Lauren, take this ring. As a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. Antonio, take this ring. Antonio, take as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This time we invite the two of you to exchange a sign of your love and affection as we all congratulate you. Give me all that you hope to receive. Your deepest regret dies with me. The days when you stumble and fall The days when you grind to a crawl The treasure that hides behind your walls I want it all, yeah I want it all Shine a light. The wedding was great. She was beautiful. So find the whole thing right now. So sure. Let it be known that he did all the planning for our wedding. I'm so excited for Lauren. They have been together for so long, and Antonio has always been part of our family, so now it's official. Good luck, Lauren and Antonio. Yep. We wish you all the warmest wishes. I, I can hope someday to have that kind of love. <laughs> someday. <laughs> someday. Thanks, sweetheart. I'm nervous, too. Mostly dancing into the reception, because I don't like to dance in front of people. The tree was very original. I've never seen that. I thought that was really cool. And uh, you get everyone's thumbprint on there and something you could hang up. It's really nice. It's really graceful. So. It's a nice idea? Yeah. Okay. Anything else you want to say to them? Thank you for the free booze. I love you guys. I wish you the best. Dan and I are truly honored to be a part of this special day. There's no place I'd rather be today than here in your wedding.
Kyoto to the bay, strolling so casually. We're different and the same. Gave you another name. Switch up the batteries. If you gave me a chance, I would take it. It's a shot. He wanted it right from the get go. And I said, There's no way in hell we're having a bass fish at our reception because it doesn't go with our theme. What do you think of the ice sculpture? I love it. Did you know that Antonia wanted that? You actually didn't think there was going to be a ice sculpture. Oh my god, are you serious? We got the bass! I love this! So that's why you were being a jerk. It's because you were going to surprise me. Yeah. I'm you're, actually you're, so happy right now! <laughs> this is a fish that you caught. They sculpted it right from the picture. Well, stop it. I swear to God! Woo! We got the fish! I'm so She's happy. Like, I'm talking like it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It is my proud pleasure to welcome to you for the first time as husband and wife. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the new Mr. and Mrs. Anton. We got some things planned, yeah, a couple of spin moves, a little choreographing in the beginning. How long did it take Middle's you? a little bit of a freestyle ending, we got something planned, we'll see how it goes. Whether or not we actually pull it off is yet to be seen. I wanted to take dance lessons and Antonio thought we could do it ourselves. So we've been practicing and looking up videos and um, we've been choreographing ourselves. So it was god awful in the beginning. We feel pretty comfortable now, but nobody's really seen it, so it's either going to go spectacularly well or god-awful. I describe them as very comfortable with each other and really funny together, and they make everyone around them feel very comfortable, and they're kind of like, I feel like we're at home with them. Always say we were the lucky ones. I guess that we were once. 
we were once But luck will leave you cause it is a faithless friend And in the end, when life has got you down You've got someone here that you can wrap your arms around So hold on to me tight Hold on to me tonight We are stronger here together Than we could ever be alone So hold on to me Don't you ever let me go There's a thousand ways for things to fall apart But it's no one's fault No, it's not our fault no. Maybe all the plans we made might not work out But I have no doubt Even though it's hard to see I've got faith in us I believe in you and me So hold on to me tight Hold on, I promise it'll be alright Cause it's you and me together And baby, all we've got is time So hold on to me Hold on to me tonight But there's so many dreams that we have given up Take a look at all we've got And with this kind of love And what we've got here is I get to see a side of her other people don't. She's just always so serious. I think people would be surprised how goofy she can be when she's like really comfortable. Lauren is very articulate and uh, I didn't know Lauren uh, before our meetings but Lauren's very organized and she's the type of person that <laughs> No, you are. It's very organized. Uh, she may be very organized, but she's the type of, of individual that when she walks in the room, I kind of sat up straighter in my chair, you know, because I wanted to do it better, and uh, she kind of calls forth the best in people. Oh, Lauren is to, much more of to a the T. Yeah, she's plan definitely one of her strengths. Organization. Mm -hmm. She kind of keeps us all in line, which is good. yeah. She expects the best, which is so she's right. 
Did my sisters tell you they're waiting for a bride sale moment? No, they didn't. Are they? They are. It's not going to happen. I keep telling them that, but they're convinced. The only thing she hasn't planned is the father-daughter dance, which um, I picked out a song and haven't told her. And uh, it's driving her a little crazy because she wants to know and control everything. Has it been to hard, hard to keep it from her? Or? No, it's fun. Is she the first to get married? She is. And how do you feel today? I feel happy. I think uh, Antonio and Lauren are going to be very happy. I'm wondering if pretty sure he's going to be in tears. I'm excited to see it. Picture of a slow, sweet world yet to be. With his father and I being here, we we were really, really close, and we still are, and we will be for the rest of life. But now, him and Lauren, they're gonna start their whole new life, and we be there anytime they need anything. I'll be there, just like I've been. Le mame si amano, ma ti amano di più. Le mame guardano nel cielo un aeroplano e quel treno sulla ferrovia. Parlano e sognano del figlio che è lontano davanti a una fotografia. Le mame piangono e si asciugano gli occhiali mentre gli anni se ne vanno via. Sia quando ti tenevano per mano, sembra ieri che malinconi. Le mamme sognano, le mamme invecchiano, le mamme si amano. I'd like to bow our heads briefly and ask God to bless this meal. Amen. Oh, um, I know you're busy, God. Um, if you if you have a little bit of time, if you could also bless the cookies. <laughs> One blessing for I made it for all my kids and this is my last one, and I said I was going to make them for him. Probably I set it out about four months ago to do them a little bit at a time because I knew I wouldn't have time to do them now. So, yes. And, you know, and every time, once in a while, I, I did three, three, four hours, once in a while, I used all my day. If I could have Nicole and Kim up here to give their toast to the bridegroom. So, you're giving speeches later? Yes. We are. We're giving a joint speech later. Yeah. We decided so. last minute, and then we wrote it last minute. You're welcome, Lauren. Um, In your honor. I'm not going to agree to any of that. I've had mine written for months. <laughs> what are you doing? You weren't even planning it. <laughs> but yes, we have a speech, and I hope to finish it by yeah. 7 o'clock when it's due. If there's one thing that Lauren has taught us, and I'm speaking on behalf of all of our siblings here, it's to dig in your heels, never give up, 
thinking about fighting. So Antonio, <laughs> it looks like you're kind of stuck with us at this point, so good luck. <laughs> good morning, Antonio. I have to give a speech, so I'm looking forward to the minute I'm done with that, and then I can have fun. <laughs> but uh, did you already write the speech? I wrote it. I wrote it, and yeah, I should probably be practicing it a little bit. But I'll be, I'll be glad when that's done. My dad gave my mom a necklace with a medallion on it, probably shortly after they started dating. So on it, it said, "Oggi più di ieri meno di domani." So I asked her what day, what that meant, and she said, today I love you more than yesterday and less than tomorrow. So as we raise our glasses to you today, I want, to, I want you guys to all always love each other more today than yesterday, and may that love continue to grow for every tomorrow. I'm the best man. How did you get that title? Uh, I don't know. I kind of asked Tony if I could plan the bachelor party, so I think I kind of forced myself into the role. I don't know if I was the chosen one, but he agreed to it, so now he's stuck with me. Marriage is not about finding the person you can live with. It's about finding the person you cannot live without. My friend has found that person. Here's to a lifetime of happiness and love for Mr. and Mrs. Antonio Massey. Super excited, I'm ready to party. One more. 
more time One more time One more time A celebration You know we're gonna do it all right Tonight Hey Just feel it Music's got me feeling the need Need Yeah Come on Alright We're gonna celebrate One more time Celebrate and dance so free Music's got me feeling so free Celebrate and dance so free One more time Music's got me feeling so free We're gonna celebrate Celebrate and dance so free One more time Music's got me feeling so free We're gonna celebrate Celebrate and dance so free One more time Music's got me feeling so free We're gonna celebrate Celebrate and dance so free how do you feel now that the wedding's over, ceremony's over? Great. I feel fantastic. I feel relieved and ready to party. <laughs> what were you thinking when you were walking down the aisle and when you were waiting? <laughs> I was thinking that I couldn't look at you because I started to cry, so I just looked at everybody else. <laughs> yeah, I did pretty good. I was just trying to like choke down the tears, move, and it seemed to work out. <laughs> I was just trying to like, you know, hold a knot in my throat. Once it worked we, out. Once we got to the end of the aisle, I honestly felt so much better. I felt pretty good the rest of the ceremony. I don't know about you. Okay. Love you. Today, we saw a union of two people who loved each other so profoundly that they decided that in front of everyone that they were going to get exchange vows to share the rest of their lives together, to love each other forever, no matter what. And we thank God for being present that our life intervals coincided with that event. Do you have any advice for them? Really? They don't need any advice, especially not my advice. It's not gonna do them any good. Don't be like us. <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> You're right, I'm wrong, I'm sorry. Good luck, that's my advice. Just for Tony, just always say yes. You're always wrong, but you know, you know. I don't really know much about marriage, so I'm probably not the best person to ask. But I guess everyone always has compromised, so. What happened happened, a good day, a bad day, bad day, just make up by the end of the day. Open communication. Anything you have on your mind, tell them. Tell each other. Yeah, just listen more than you speak. Sometimes we have a tendency to say too much. Marriage is wonderful and hard all at the same time, so um, each day will be, be great and just remember to say I love you and enjoy each other. The journey's in loving each other every day, not just getting married. Make sure you take time for each other, that you make time for date nights and just to relax with one another because it's easy to get kind of wrapped up in your, in your life and forget to work on your marriage. Just live life like you're living it now. Stay happy, I guess. Stay best friends. Um, that, I think that's the best thing that you can do. Just keep laughing and, and keep loving. Just keep smiling and making each other laugh. Keeping up like the trust they have for one another mm -hmm. and depending on one another is the biggest thing, just keeping with that. They're always there for each other and I think that's like the coolest example. Yeah, they're great role models. Don't be boring. <laughs> because you're my aunt and uncle, so. So they should be fun in they that They should part. be fun, yeah. Lauren, make sure you don't have any matches out while Antonio farts. Don't have a baby too quick. <laughs> Save all your money, because you're going to need it later on for your kids. <laughs> Especially if you have daughters. We're just waiting for the kids. <laughs> waiting for the little ones to show up. As things go on and on, and we have a few grandchildren, it's going to be great. <laughs> and. And uh, I don't know what else to say other than love you both. If they ask you for advice, I will give it, but today they went their decision to do everything. Every time I see them together, it makes me so happy because they're so happy and Lauren's so happy. I think that they're going to have a long and everlasting uh, love and life together. Love you.
awesome. you. Okay. Congratulations. And, um, is there anything you want to say to them? Uh, happy anniversary. Antonio, still go fishing with me. <laughs> That's all I ask.